Hey guys, it's Ben, and today I'm going to be walking through the Urk Tack the Box challenge. Um, so yeah, let's get on with it. Um, there we go. So, like I will always do, I'll start off with an end map scan. Um, I will basically be doing an all port scan. Um, I'll be doing a service slash uh, version enumeration, attack SC for um, default scripts, end map scripts, NSC scripts. TAC N um, to not do DNS resolution, TAC PN to uh, not send a ping check because it will make it a little bit faster. Put the IP in there, 10, 10, 10, 117, um, and I'll output this to full log. I have already ran this command um, and we can see it's there, so let's just check out the findings. Um, I'll zoom out a little bit there, which I'll just move down. There we go. So. We've got SSH open on port 22, um, open SSH running that. We've also got a web server on port um, 80, an Apache web server. It looks like we've got port 111, which I believe is NF NFS sometimes, um, RPC bind, so um, a remote procedure call, but you can connect to NFS, NFS on that, I believe. Uh, and then you've got a load of RIC ports, and a status port, which to be honest, I don't really know what it does. Um, we can see the, the the service responsible for the I, IRC um, ports open. The protocol is Unreal I, IRCD. So we can dig into that. Um, what I will usually do is look at the web server. I'm more familiar with web servers and um, web app exploitation. So let's just go check that out. Um, I have, um, by the way, added uh, to my host file, um, 1010 uh, 117 box so I can reference the host name um, so if I ping box you see it pings the IP so I've, I've set it up um, already we can go to HTTP box and just have a look um, it says IRC is almost working and then we've got an image here we check the source code um, we've got this image irk.jpg and the IRC is almost working so it doesn't look like there's much else on this page. Um, however, we can still fuzz this endpoint, see if there's anything else which um, we can't find just from looking at the website. So I'm going to make a directory web, cd into web, uh, make directory fuzz, and cd into fuzz. Um, I'm going to use ffuff or fuffuff or whatever um, to fuzz it. Um, HTTP the box. I want to fuzz just this uh, first level um, directory. Um, the word list I'm going to use is share word lists, sec lists, uh, discovery, web content, raft, medium, directories to begin with, uh, and it's just txt. Um, filter code 404. I believe that should do it. Um, and we're going to tee this to ders.log. I'm gonna, we do see there's a manual uh, directory. Um, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna get another one of these going just so I can fuzz a load of stuff, get as much as we can really. Um, I'm going to fuzz here files and raft medium files dot text, there we go and we'll see what we can find. I am interested in that manual directory, so we can check that out. Uh, manual. And we can look, we can see it's just like the Apache documentation. We can see it's version 2.4, perhaps we can um, go looking for vulnerabilities in that version. Um, it seems quite old, so we could do that. I'm not going to do that. Um, there's other stuff I can dig into in the meantime. Um, the files won't have come uh, as Kate has come back. We can't see anything really interesting there, and the directories has finished. We can also fuzz for vhosts, uh, virtual hosts, see if there are any other subdomains. Um, so let's do that. I don't want to fuzz this endpoint here. I do want to add a host header, so like the HTTP header, and it'll be host is fuzz dot dot the box, uh, and we will go to discovery and then it's DNS and then subdomains top uh, 110 
1000. I don't want a filter code by 404. Uh, yeah. I don't want a filter code by 404 because that will not necessarily work. What we can do is we can look for something which we can filter with, filter with. So we can filter by the size. All these results are giving size 72. So we know that's basically benign. We can filter by size 22. And then if there's any other subdomains which give uh, a different size, that would cause us to investigate it. Perhaps there would be a vhost there, a virtual host, we would find a subdomain. So that's quickly going through that. It looks like we're not really finding anything, but that's fine. Um, like I said, we do see port 111 here, which um, port 111, it is NFS, right? Yeah. So yeah, NFS. We can um, we can use the show mount show mount command in Linux show mount show mount to see if there's any um, NFS NFS shares or things we can mount. So we'll go show mount dacky irked, and it doesn't look like there is, or at least we can't access it. We could look at um, pen testing the H, uh, SSH service, but that's never really a good idea. Um, um, unless it's like vulnerable, inherently vulnerable by its version. But we do have IRC to look at and it, it's there for a reason. So um, we can connect to IRC just with telnet in the in the command line. Um, um, I can't remember entirely how to do it. So let's just quickly see IRC hack tricks. There may be something here already. Pen testing IRC. Um, I'll let that do its thing and load, but we can just go netcat uh, uh, dot hack the box and then the port is 6697. Um, and you do, you supply your username and password. Maybe it's like this. Hello. Um, is it like this? Oh. Let me try again. User, hello, and then zero password or something like this. A nickname, let's just say my name. Does that work? It does work. So we were able to actually connect with that. I could remember eventually. Um, we do get a version of the Unreal um, Unreal RRC server, which is running, and that's 3.2.81. So let's just check that out, right? Let's see what's going on with this. Just searching this version altogether, we see there are lots of different exploits and it looks like there's some sort of command execution backdoor command execution so perhaps this is a, a vulnerable version maybe it has a backdoor in it um, and we can exploit it and gain a shell perhaps let's just have a look at this first github repository which we see this is a python version of the metasploit module that exploits a known vulnerability in unreal ircd so i personally don't like using metasploit myself prefer getting my hands dirty and sort of um, doing it manually um, and it's sort of good practice that OSC, OSCP you can't you can't really use Metasploit in there we can't really use it a lot so I'm not going to I'm going to do this manually um, and we'll check out this exploit so let's cd into the exploits directory and I'm going to git clone this IRC backdoor Unreal. There we go. We'll cd into oh, cd into this. We've got an exploit there. Let's just check this out. Um, so sets the target IP and port. It looks like this is an parser arg parser. We'll do this in the command line command line arguments, and then sets the local IP and port to listen on. So this is what I'll set my um, netcat listener up on. This will be my the IP address of my, my VPN, which is 10.10.16.2. I typically choose 444 as my reverse shell um, port to listen on, just out of habit. Um, so I will do that. I'll get a netcat listener going, 444. Nice. And um, yeah, let's just execute this and tells us that's the format we need to do it in. So we need a payload, um, and there, 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 there are a few options there, Python, Netcat, and Bash. Um, we can just go for the, the, the regular Bash payload, just see if that works. So Bash, 
the port we are gonna sorry the IP we are actually um, hitting the the host our target host is gonna be irk at the box and the port of the IRC service is 6697 so we'll, we'll run this and it says exploit sent successfully um, we'll see if we get anything back doesn't look like it oh it does it does look like it it takes a little while but the um, it does process it let's um, by the way let's just see what is it sort of doing so it's obviously sending the reverse shell um, what is it doing with the payload craft out the payload and it gets base 64 encoded um, so it looks like there's some sort of command injection here right just put the payload there base 64 encoded with a, um, a colon and it looks like you just connect to the socket and do that so so yeah anyway we're in um, we can see who am I IRC, IRCD whereas the the IRC uh, D user so the user account which is running the IRC service we obviously exploited that service so we get a shell as that user um, and we're in this Unreal um, 3.2 directory. Um, we can back out of this and yeah, see if there's anything inter interesting in here. It doesn't really look like it. Um, let's see what other users are on this box. Oh, and yeah, so I need to do some, get a better, more functioning shell. I'm gonna import pty, uh, pty.spawn, bin, bash, there we go. And then I'm going to export term equals x term. Now I have a, a semi-functional reverse shell. I can clear and I can do other stuff which I couldn't before. So we've got this DJ Mardoff user. Um, let's just have a look at this. DJ Mardoff, CD DJ Mardoff. There we go. Um, and he's got a desktop document. So he's also got a user.txt. We can look around this. Um, some things I like to do just as... Um, like the quick check, see if there's any easy wins. Um, just sudo takel. It looks like sudo can't be found. Okay. Um, are there any suid binaries? Find type f perm equals u equals s to dev null. And it looks like there are some sudo binaries. Um, there's one which stands out to me, which is view user. Um, so yeah, let's, let's 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 check this one out, right? What's this doing? Let's see ls tech la uh, la on user bin view user. So we can see it's owned by root, and obviously suid binary it has the suid bit set. Okay, what about if we see what type of file this is? User bin view user. So it's an elf binary. It's not like a bash script or anything else like that so we, we should just be able to execute this right that's user bin view user okay um, we've got an error here it says this application is being developed to set and test use permissions it is still being actively developed um, we've got some sort of date here which correlates to uh, today basically and then we've got this um, error message from sh temp list users is not found so um, what about if we just go to temp right we go echo hello world to uh, temp list users and now what if we go user bin view users now again uh, user bin what was it uh, view user not users We've got permission denied now, right? Okay, that's interesting. What about if we change the permissions on this, right? If we make this accessible to all users and go list users again. Um, and now we go user bin view users. Ah, sorry. <laughs> user bin view user. And it's saying hello world is not found. If we just did hello world like this, right? Command not found. That's when we bash. If we're in sh, it would just do the same, right? Let's just see. 
uh, hello world. Yeah, so it's basically saying it's trying to execute hello world, which is the contents of what we pass into the text file. So let's say instead if I did a command like uh, echo id into temp list user users and then went user bin view user, it then runs the id command and our uid, because this is a set uid binary, is set to root. Um, note the, the, the group id and groups aren't because a set uid binary only sets your user id, it doesn't change the others, which is, which is really interesting. We've got command execution basically in this sewered binary, so we can put our own malicious code in there and it will execute it. Um, this is running sh, as we can we can see. So if I just tried this instead, uh, if I tried going echo just bin sh um, temp list users, and then tried going user bin view user, and go id, we've we've got that root. So can I cd into root? I can. Um, I can cat the root flag out, oh, cat uh, root.txt, there we go, um, and we can also, if I just cat the pass, there's a password there, if I go cd um, into home dj mardoff, and I can cat the user.txt, can I? There we go, so we've, we've, we've solved the challenge. Um, you don't need to go straight to, uh, you don't need to go to user um, and then to root. You can go straight to root and get the user flag. When I did this originally, um, I didn't spot that view user sewed so binary. I went to the DJ Mardoff um, and then went to, um, to to root. And I'm going to quickly show that because um, there's a whole little part of this this challenge which I didn't even cover and I skipped over it, but um, if you want to watch this, you can. So in the downloads directory of DJ Mardoff, um, keep in mind, uh, can I just change to him? Uh, Mardoff, uh, SU, DJ Mardoff. There we go. I'm just changing the user to him so I can do this again, basically. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna, I actually want to be the other user. I want to be IRCD, so uh, user, uh, bin view user, there we go, I've got a shell as him, I can change user to ircd, uh, id, who am I, so I'm ircd at the moment, um, I am just going to, there we go, there we go, so in DJ Mardoff's uh, not downloads folder, is it his documents, it's one of these, if we go ls, tag la, there's this dot backup, and I, I saw this originally, originally, and this interested me, right? So let's just cat this dot backup, and it says super elite steg backup. Steg, I guessed, was uh, a shortened version of steganography, and I was thinking, where have I seen a, uh, like an image or a image file which may be encoded in steganography, and this is the password for it? Well, if you remember. Um, at the beginning, if we went to HTTP irked .hat the box, um, this was irked.jpg, right? So if I go back here and I w get HTTP irked.hat the box irked.jpg, we've got this. So steg hide is the, the tool a lot of people use. So let's just try this. I want information about embedded data. It asks for a passphrase. Um, let's check if this is the passphrase, right? So we'll put the password in there. And it says, yes, look, there's an embedded file called pass.txt. So what we can do is we can extract this. We can steg hide uh, extract and tack sf for that flag and wrote extracted data to pass.txt. We can cut out pass.txt. Um, and we've got the password there. Um, you'll notice this password was also in the the, the root user's um, home directory, um, but this is the password to the DJ Mardoff account. So I can go DJ Mardoff 
I'm going to ask for the password there. I'll put it there. And now I'm this DJ mod off user. Who am I? There we go. So if you wanted to, and what I originally did, I went straight to, I went from uh, IRCD to the DJ mod off user and then to root because I didn't spot that view user at the beginning, but you don't need to. You can skip that part altogether if you spot that view user, uh, sewered so binary, and it makes it a lot easier. But yeah, um, this challenge is done. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.